Welcome back to Geospatial Analysis. In today's tutorial, we'll visualize and downscale rainfall data for Oromia region in Ethiopia using the CHIRPS dataset inside Google Earth Engine. We'll also display a custom color legend and calculate actual min and max rainfall values during the 2024 rainy season. Step 1. Load Oromia Boundary We start by importing the Oromia region using the FAO GAL dataset. This gives us accurate administrative boundaries. Step 2. Load and process CHIRPS rainfall data. Next, we load CHIRPS daily precipitation data for the 2024 rainy season, from June to October. Step 3. Downscale rainfall to 100M. CHIRPS comes at a 5 km resolution. We use a Sentinel-2 image to resample and downscale this data to 100 meters. We downscale CHIRPS rainfall data to make it more detailed, from 5 km to 100 m, so we can better visualize and analyze local rainfall patterns. This makes our maps more useful for agriculture, disaster planning, and water management in specific areas like wardas and districts. Step 4. Calculate actual min slash max values. To make our legend meaningful, we calculate the actual minimum and maximum rainfall across Oromia. Step 5. Display maps. Now we display both the original and the downscaled rainfall layers, using a blue gradient color palette. Step 6. Add custom legend. Finally, we build a custom color legend panel showing our precipitation range, helping viewers understand the rainfall gradient visually. The legend shows values from 50 mm to 1,700 mm, matching our computed range. Advantages of Downscaling CHIRPS Precipitation Data 1. Better Local Interpretation Downscaled data can reveal microclimatic variations, especially in mountainous or urban areas. Useful for agricultural planning, water resource management, and disaster risk assessment at the Warida or Kabil level. Advantages of Downscaling CHIRPS Precipitation Data 1. Better Local Interpretation Downscaled data can reveal microclimatic variations, especially in mountainous or urban areas. 2. Improved integration with other datasets. Sentinel-2, NDVA, land cover, and soil maps are often at 10 to 100M resolution. Downscaling allows better pixel-wise comparison and modeling, e.g., soil erosion, flood risk. 3. Higher quality maps for decision makers. Visualizing rainfall at 100M makes the maps visually informative and policy relevant. Helps local governments, NGOs, and researchers make targeted interventions. 5. Enables catchment scale hydrological modeling. 5 km pixels are too coarse to reflect hydrological processes in. Keep in mind, downscaling doesn't add new rainfall measurements. Instead, it resamples the original 5 km chirps pixels to 100 m using interpolation. The new values are estimates, useful for visualization and modeling, but not actual high-resolution observations.